Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In the last couple of sessions, we took a look at the soccer ball trace, the text trace and the logo trace. In this session, we're going to look at tracing the lion's head. And there's really not too much I can do with shape tools here, so I really have to work with the Bezier tool or the pen tool. I'm going to work with the Bezier tool in this session. And I'm going to make sure this is locked. I've already got it locked. I'll unlock it, right click, and we'll come down and lock object. That way, we can't select it while we're working. Go over to the toolbar and we'll zoom in here. And there's a couple of different ways to trace with the Bezier tool and a couple of different ways that people do this. One of them is, is to just start laying down nodes and line segments based on points in the trace. And I'll over here right click and change that line to a red point there point there maybe a point here then here then here and a point here a point here a point there maybe a point there point there point there point there probably a point here one here at that point and then coming up through here, a point there and there. And then this is going to be curved, so we'll drop a point there and a point there. So now we've got the line segments all around the outside of what we want to trace. Now we hit the space bar, go back to the pick tool, double click on this, select one node, hit control A, select all the nodes, change them all to a curve. They're all in the cusp state. You can come down and select this line segment and pull this up into here like that. Then go to your control arms, pull this back this way, and we're probably gonna need a node here. So I'll drop one there and then we can pull this out like that, as you can see there. Then we'll zoom in down here and this node, I'll drop a node here to protect this section of the trace going up into here. And I'll bring this node down into here and shape that in to position. This is a curve also. So I'll come down here. I can go to the control arm, pull that in that way, and then pull this control arm out that way. And then left click and pull this up into there. So I'm just working my way through the trace working with line segments. Now I want to smooth this out. So I'll drop a node here and then delete this node here and that'll smooth that out. And I can make that adjustment, come up in here. And I'm just zooming in and out, pulling back and pushing forward on my center mouse wheel to zoom in and out of the graphic while I'm tracing it. I'm going to take this and hit the S key and change that to a smooth node. And I'll smooth all of that out. I'll left click, bring this over here, come here and I'll hit the S key, change that to a smooth node and I can bring that in like that. And this is one of the ways that tracing is done. And bring this curve here, drop a node here to protect this, change this to a smooth Hit the S key, bring that in. That'll smooth all of that out. And I'll come in here and you can see this kind of curves this way. So I'll double click here, drop a node, double click there, delete that node, come here, select this control arm, hold down control to constrain that and smooth that out. 
This here, I'm going to take and pull that line segment back, bring this node down here, and then pull this curve up this way. Drop a node here, drop a node here, delete that node, and that will smooth right out. Bring this over this way, bring this node in that way, and follow that swish that's going up that way there. I want to zoom in and see how smooth that is. Bring this down here maybe a bit. Drop a node here, delete this, that'll smooth out. Maybe bring another node in. That'll be smooth by default. Change this to smooth. Select S key, now that's smooth. And that's nice there, that goes right in where we want to. Come here and we'll take this control arm, pull it down this way, this one up that way, and just working around the outline of the lion's head. I'm going to drop a node here and bring it down this way. Change this to a smooth node with an S. Smooth that right out. You can see how you can just select nodes and change them. Go to this control arm, pull this down that way. That'll go in there. Come in here. Make sure that this node is set up correctly. Take the line, pull it out that way. You can see how this is working. Take this line segment and curve it right into there. Everything's a curve, so it's very easy to work with. Just select the line segment. Come here, select that, hit the S key, change it to smooth. Come here in line segment, pull that in that way. Pull this out here. And then come down here. Change this to a smooth node, bring it in. And I can pull this back this way. Bring that over that way. And we're almost done here. Pull this out here. And we can take this line segment and pull it out there. Might want to take the control arm here and just pull this back in a little bit here. And look here and see what we've got. We'll take this control arm, pull that up into there a little bit. Coming off that smooth node. Maybe bring this in a little bit there. So that's one method for tracing with the Bezier tool, one of the methods that we use. And we get through that pretty quickly. Now, we can also go through this by hand. I'm not going to trace every object because this is just the techniques that we would use. Now, we did that. Now, we could also go with the Bezier tool and start, let's say, up here at this point. Left-click, pull this out so that's going to create a curved or a curved state line come up here pull in that way and we're following the direction of the path and I'm going to hit C here change that to a cusp I'm going to come over here and right click on a red so I can see as I'm working come back select this node which is symmetrical and make an adjustment with that because the Bezier tool is interactive Come back to the Bezier tool, double click, and this point will be changed to a curve. Pull that down that way. And I'm holding down Alt to bring that down here and reposition that just a little bit. Go to the C key, make that a cusp, and pull that out. Zoom in, come down, pull this out this way. Hold down Alt, bring that right about there. Pull that out a little bit more. Come down all the way down here, start pulling out right to about there change to the cusp come up into here pull that in then go to a cusp pull down that way and now i'm working with the bezier tool around now that cusp didn't take so i'll double click on that and that will change that to a cusp that node hold down here hold down pull here come here pull down and you can get very fast with this with some practice either way either technique that you decide that you're more comfortable with and I'll come down here and drop my node here pull follow that curve hit C change to a cusp come down here pull that out hit C change to a cusp now you can see what I'm doing with the control I'm following this direction going through this curve so I'll come up into here and then pull that out and I can go with my Alt key and reposition that. 
a little bit right about where I'd want it, which would be probably right there. Pull that back in a little bit. Then come down here, pull this in again. Now, since I'm working with the Bezier tool, I can come over to this node, pull this back this way a little bit, bring this out that way. Click off, I'll be back on the Bezier tool, come down here, hold down C, come up this way, come up through here, and we can see that. Then I can zoom out, zoom in, come right into here, pull that right out, hit the C key, cusp, bring it back this way, come here to the C key, cusp, bring it back that way, come up through here, and through here and one thing you want to be careful of don't make these nodes too close together you'll see what happens when that happens it doesn't work very well you want to make sure you have space for your control arms because you don't want them overlapping like this it'll make a mess I'll hit control Z click off control Z to go back and I'll come over here just pull that out like that maybe I'll bring that down a little bit interactively holding down the alt key Set that node there, go to C for cusp, change direction. And then I can come up through here. And then I'll come through this way. And here I'm just going to come in like that. Come out that way. I don't want to go too far there because I'm going to go into another curve area here. And I can come back, click on this node and bring this in here a little bit and smooth that out just a bit. Click off, I'll be back to the Bezier tool. Then I'll come to say right about here, left click, pull back, C key, change that to a cusp, come up to my starting node, pull that down. And here I've done the trace working with the Bezier tool interactively. And then if there's anything I need to tweak, I can just go back to that and make some adjustments. And this is very close. So a couple of different tracing methods working with the Bezier tool. And we can see how we would do that. Now I would do that for all of the objects in the lion. First do the black background. Then after the black background, I'd go on and trace the blue that I have. And then these one, two, three objects that would also be black. We'll go to the pick tool here and we'll take this and you can see I already combined this but I'll hit control Z and I'll just right click and go to break curve apart and then we're going to go to view and wireframe and I'm just going to select this shift this and this and I'll just cut these go back to view and enhanced and I'll just paste these in and change them to black. Now what I would have done, and we saw the technique, so I'm not going to go through the whole trace here. Those two techniques you can work with, whichever works best for you. I would have traced the black, then I would have traced the blue, right? And then I would have traced the eye and the two vector curves here that are kind of in the main hair going down using one of those two methods. So two different methods for tracing with the Bezier tool. And then once this is all done, I can bring everything together and add color to it. If I left click and I've got just no fill and the red outlines from my tracing, if I want to, I'll go through, select the black, hold down shift, select that, select this, select the face, select the chin, Select the eye because I know they're going to be one color. Got six objects selected. Then I'll go to combine. Then I'll go to my eyedropper tool once again. Select this color. Fill that. Right click. Take the outline off. Still have this. Hold down shift and I can toggle back to the eyedropper. Get the black. Fill that. Right click. Take the outline off in the X. Want to make sure I have that selected. Go to my pick tool, make sure I've got that selected, there we go, right click and take the outline off. And that's how I would trace with the Bezier tool and do something like the lion's head. 
So once again, two different methods for the Bezier tracing techniques, whichever one you're more comfortable with or works best for you. You'll learn them and pick them up with practice. They're not hard, they're easy. We'll go ahead and wrap here for our sessions on vector tracing and we'll continue in our next video session.